Okay, uh, hopefully this will be a relatively uh, quick tutorial because we're just adding on to what we did last week. Last week we used Pygame to capture video from the webcam and display it in our Pygame window. Now, if you keep up to date with my website on uh, WordPress here over at filmsbychris.com forward slash WordPress, a couple of weeks ago I posted a script and a sample image. Uh, let me show you here. Uh, and the link for this will be in the description. We'll click on uh, the big head tar zip here. We'll open that with Archiver. And we'll click that to our desktop here. We'll go Show Files. It's still tarred up here. Let's just extract here. Okay, so here we have a folder called uh, Big Head. And when we come in here, we have two things. An image of my face with a transparent background, very nice, and a little Pygame script. Let's uh, open up a terminal, run this Pygame script, and see what happens. Hey, it's my head on my body. Pretty cool. Well, kind of. Let's see how it's done. Okay, uh, we'll start off with the script that we were working on last time, which we have right here. And this script basically, all it does, if we run it, turns on the webcam and displays the image in the uh, background of our Pi game window. Now, if the video seems a little jerky, that has to do more with uh, my uh, screen capturing right now than, uh, than capturing from the webcam. Uh, while I'm looking at it right here, it's actually very smooth um, and very, very little lag, maybe a quarter of a second. Okay, so now to modify this, to add an image on top of it is actually quite simple. So let's just go back into the script here and quickly review. We're importing our modules and saying this is a Pygame script. I went over all this last time. We initiate Pygame and Pygame camera. We create our window and we create our camera object and turn on the camera. Then we're creating an image and we're getting that image from the camera. Then we're drawing that to our screen and then updating our display. And then this little loop here is just checking for key presses and other types of input. And if you hit the little X in the corner of the screen, it will end the script. Other than that, it will loop around. Now, all we have to do is basically grab another image and uh, display it over top of that image, just as you would any other time in Pi game. Think of the webcam as no different than any other image file that you would normally use. So real quick, let me exit out of here, and I have to copy um, from my home directory, from my desktop, from here, the image of my head. So I'm going to copy that to the present working directory. Oops. And if we list out files, we now have two scripts, our webcam script and our image of my head. Once again, if we start up the webcam script right now, all you see is me. But if we go back into our script and add like three lines, that's it. Uh, we are going to load the image, which you can do inside the loop or outside the loop. In the original script, I think I did it inside the loop. That's really unnecessary because then you're going to be uh, loading that image from file over and over again. But I'm going to create an object called head. And what type of object is that going to be? It's going to be a pygame uh, dot image. And we're going to load an image. What image are we going to load? Well, it's inside the same directory, and it's just called head.png. The reason I used PNG, besides the fact that I really like that format, is unlike JPEGs, it can have a transparent level, uh, which is important for what we're doing. Although you could just use a color and screen over it, it's just easier to have that transparent level. Um, then inside here, well, we have, we're constantly grabbing the image from the webcam and we're displaying it on the screen, we're drawing it. Well, we want to draw the head on top of it, so we would draw it 
after we draw the background image which is coming from the video cam. So we're going to say screen dot blit and where are we going to blit? Where are we going to draw to the screen? The head object which we created up here. Now, and once again, head is just the name of the object. You can name it within reason, whatever you'd like. Uh, and now we need to decide where we're going to position it. Now since our display and our video is 640 by 480, well, it kind of centered. it. I'm just going to guesstimate. You could, you know, take the screen height and could divide it in half and all that stuff, but we're just going to eyeball it at 250 uh, over and 50 down. And that's it. So each time this loops, it's going to grab a new image from the webcam, draw it to the screen, then draw the same still image in the same spot, and then update the screen. Save it, run it, back up a little bit. It is mirrored, so it confuses me when I need to go left and right. I'm getting a lot of light in from my window here, and that's why my shirt is very bright. Uh, if I was in the same place with the same lighting as I took that picture, it actually looks pretty good. There's some screenshots up of my site. So that's adding an image like that. Let's quickly, we'll go online right here. I'm going to type in Tux at Google. I'm going to do an image search. And I grabbed this one of Mario. I like grabbing this one of Mario, Tux Mario, since we are working with... Um, you know, Pi game, which is, you know, for creating video games. So I grabbed the link to that image. I'm going to wget it. So there we go. It's called that. Let's just rename it real quick to just tux.png. This PNG does already have a transparent layer. So now we'll go vim and we'll go add a new object. What type of object? We're going to call it tux. It is a Pi game dot image and we're going to load the image of tux.png. Now it's loaded, we need to still draw it to the screen and we will draw it like so. Screen dot blit, which basically means draw to the screen, we'll draw tux and we'll draw it up at the top left corner of the screen. So zero, zero for the coordinates. That's it, that's all you have to do. Now if we run that script again, you got Tux up over here and me here. Okay. And that is adding images over top of the uh, webcam. Uh, image that you're grabbing in Pygame using Python, or in Python using Pygame, however you want to say it. Thank you for watching. Uh, please visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's links in the description to the project files uh, used in this video, the scripts and images. Um, I also just want to thank you for watching. Visit us on Facebook. There's a link for that in the description as well. Um, uh, that's another place as well as my WordPress site where I post things early. As an example, on my WordPress site, I posted this script weeks ago. So uh, sometimes it takes me a little while to get the videos done, but if you want to stay up to date on stuff, my Facebook page and my WordPress page are two great places to do that. Also visit us on IRC on Freenode at the channel's pound films by Chris. Once again, Chris with a K. And I just want to thank you for watching and hope that you have a great day.